I don't think any sensible person really wants to live forever. Um, it would be horrible to watch spouse and children die. <laughs> So you say, I don't mind living forever if everybody else does, which, which is kind of rather silly. Um, what people hope for is the squared off life, the good life. We are going to have to face the fact that within a generation, there will be far, far more people with Alzheimer's around. Because people like me, who grew up in the, in the capacious bosom of the National Health Service. We got all our jabs, we got our cod liver oil, we got our, um, our orange juice, we got our school milk, at least for a little while. Um, and and we, we grew up fit and healthy in better houses than our parents lived in. And, and, and in, a, in a society that now did care about health. So we have not been dying of other things. So in a sense, while no one really realised that this was happening, I suspect, we, were, we are being delivered into dementia. So that is, it were, the next demon that awaits. My feeling is that, that, the, that the pressure on the society caused by so many helpless elderly is is so, the problem it would be so great that it, it can barely be contemplated. We really do need to see, if not the cure, um, the palliative that I think everyone is secretly hoping for, which is the semi-cure that, shall we say, rather like there is now for HIV, something that actually will keep you reasonably happy, reasonably well operating, uh, compost mentis, but not necessarily eventually alive. In other words, you would still eventually die of Alzheimer's. But I suspect that if we don't uh, defeat Alzheimer's, or at least bring it to heal, it will defeat us.